New technologies with ammonia. Toyota. 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 Researchers are turning to ammonia for a potential solution. Toyota is doing groundbreaking things in the EV space with their new solid state batteries. However, this doesn't mean that the company is now solely focused on electric vehicles. The company is one of the only ones that still believe hydrogen engines are a viable solution. Now, they have developed something new that could change the industry. Join us as we take a look at Toyota's new ammonia engine that could completely change the entire industry. Before we get into the details, it is important to understand what an ammonia engine is. Ammonia engines are a type of internal combustion engine that uses ammonia as a fuel. Ammonia is a chemical compound that consists of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. NH3. It doesn't have any carbon atoms, so that means it doesn't have any CO2 when you burn it, unlike oil or gas. Ammonia engines could be awesome for the future because they could help us stop making so much pollution. There are different ways to make ammonia engines work. One way is to break down ammonia into hydrogen and nitrogen and then use the hydrogen to make electricity in a fuel cell. This is what a startup called Amogy has done with a John Deere tractor, which they claim is the world's first ammonia-powered zero-emissions tractor. Another way is to mix ammonia with another fuel, like diesel or gas or hydrogen, and then burn them together. That makes it easier to light up and keep the fire going. This is what MANES has done with a two-stroke green ammonia engine for maritime applications. A third way is to use ammonia as a single fuel, which requires advanced technologies such as spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. This engine type is considered superior to others because ammonia has a high energy density, low price, easy and efficient to transport, and fast refueling time. Ammonia is also widely available and can be produced from various sources, including hydrogen and nitrogen, which are abundant elements in the atmosphere. Toyota recognizes this potential, and so it has partnered with Chinese state-owned manufacturer GAC, and they've revealed a prototype engine that burns liquid ammonia. Although ammonia has already been considered as a clean fuel option for ships, airliners, trucks, and trains, the partnership between Toyota and GAC believes that it could also hold promise for powering cars in the future. To put this theory to the test, they have successfully developed a prototype engine that operates on liquid ammonia, showcasing remarkable results in emission reduction, with estimates suggesting a staggering 90% decrease compared to conventional fuels. The breakthrough was unveiled at a recent Tech Day presentation by GAC, where they proudly announced the creation of a cutting-edge 2.0-liter engine meticulously engineered to burn liquid ammonia safely and efficiently. Chi Hongzhong, an engineer at the GAC R&D Center in Guangzhou, said, We've overcome the pain point of ammonia being difficult to burn quickly and put the fuel to use in the passenger car industry. According to reports from Bloomberg, this revolutionary engine boasts a peak power output of 120 kilowatts, making it a formidable contender compared to other types of fuels. Equally impressive is its ability to significantly curtail carbon emissions, making it a greener alternative to traditional fuel sources. While GAC and Toyota may want to claim that their engine is the world's first, it is important to know that there were already some advancements in this field. About a decade ago, the Korean Institute for Energy Research conducted pioneering work by creating a car called AMVE. This innovative vehicle ran on a blend of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline, resulting in a significant reduction of carbon emissions by 70%. The AMVE team was dedicated to exploring the concept of a fully ammonia-fueled engine, demonstrating the feasibility of such a technology. In the case of the GAC engine, which utilizes liquid ammonia as a fuel, it is worth noting that there seems to be a production of carbon dioxide. This suggests that there may be an additional fuel source incorporated into the engine's design. This arrangement could be a practical approach since the characteristics of ammonia, such as its low flame propagation speed, often poses challenges for engines operating at high RPMs or low engine loads. By combining ammonia with another fuel, 
the GAC engine may have addressed these limitations, ensuring smoother performance under various driving conditions. If GAC and Toyota intend to introduce ammonia engines into the automotive industry, they will definitely face a lot of challenges. One notable hurdle is the absence of a well-established infrastructure for fueling ammonia-powered vehicles. Unlike conventional fuels, ammonia is not widely available at present, necessitating the development of a robust and secure fueling system. However, this situation can present an opportunity for the industry to innovate and create a safe and efficient infrastructure that can handle the unique requirements of ammonia fuel. The development of engines that utilize liquid ammonia as an alternative fuel is an exciting breakthrough for the automotive industry. It introduces new possibilities and opens doors to a more sustainable future. Liquid ammonia has the potential to serve as a viable fuel option, offering reduced carbon emissions without compromising performance. As the world continues to prioritize sustainability and environmental conservation, the adoption of ammonia-powered engines could play a significant role in achieving these goals. However, it is important to consider some of the potential downsides and challenges associated with ammonia engines. One notable drawback is ammonia's tendency to create high levels of nitrogen oxide, NOx, emissions. These emissions contribute to air pollution and have detrimental effects on human health and the environment. Reducing and controlling NOx emissions will be a critical aspect of making ammonia engines more environmentally friendly. Another significant challenge associated with ammonia engines is the relatively slow flame propagation speed of ammonia compared to conventional fuels. This characteristic poses difficulties in achieving optimal combustion efficiency, particularly at high engine speeds, RPMs, or during low engine loads. The slow flame propagation speed can result in incomplete combustion and reduce power output. Overcoming these performance limitations would require extensive engine design and optimization efforts. Researchers and engineers would need to explore innovative approaches to enhance combustion efficiency, such as optimizing fuel injecting systems, modifying combustion chamber designs, or implementing advanced ignition systems. Furthermore, the production process for ammonia currently relies on the Haber-Bosch process, which is associated with high emissions. The Haber-Bosch process requires significant energy inputs, and its environmental impact needs to be considered when assessing the overall sustainability of ammonia as a fuel source. Exploring alternative methods of ammonia production that are more energy efficient and have lower emissions could further enhance the environmental profile of ammonia engines. Additionally, the cost and availability of ammonia present significant hurdles to its widespread adoption as a mainstream automotive fuel. At present, ammonia production and distribution are not as extensive or cost-effective as conventional fuels. The production processes for ammonia, often relying on the Haber-Bosch process, require significant energy inputs and infrastructure investments. These factors contribute to the overall cost of ammonia fuel. Moreover, the availability of a reliable supply chain for ammonia distribution is limited, further hindering its accessibility as a fuel option for the general public. Overcoming these challenges would require substantial investments in infrastructure development, including ammonia production facilities, distribution networks, and refueling stations. Research and development efforts should also focus on improving the energy efficiency of ammonia production processes to reduce costs and enhance its competitiveness as a fuel source. Despite these challenges, ongoing research, technological advancements, and collaborations within the industry have the potential to address the limitations of ammonia engines. Continued efforts to optimize engine design, develop cost-effective production methods, and establish a robust infrastructure will be crucial for the wide adoption of ammonia as a clean and sustainable fuel option in the automotive sector. The collaboration between GAC and Toyota shows the power of partnerships in driving innovation within the automotive industry. By pooling their expertise and resources, these two industry leaders have successfully overcome technical obstacles and presented a compelling solution for cleaner transportation. This collaboration sets a precedent for future partnerships in the field, emphasizing the importance of shared knowledge and resources to expedite progress towards sustainable mobility. In summary, GAC's prototype engine that utilizes liquid ammonia marks a significant advancement in the search for alternative fuels. 
with its potential to significantly reduce carbon emissions and the possibility of widespread adoption in passenger cars, ammonia-powered engines have the potential to revolutionize the automotive industry. While challenges remain, such as the need for infrastructure development, the progress achieved thus far is highly promising. As the world collectively strives for a greener future, innovative developments like this bring us one step closer to realizing sustainable transportation systems. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.